Hello. In this video, we're going to use Restructure to process uh, some legal documents, uh, and these are legal contracts. And to do so, I'm going to start a project. I'm going to uh, call this project Demo Legal Contracts. Now, I'm going to bring over a few legal documents and create a new project. What Restructure will do uh, will pro will uh, process and parse individual contracts and in, that are in PDF format for best user experience. Now, once the processing of the documents are done, I'm going to perform a complex analysis, and that is I want Restructure to analyze the contracts to understand their key provisions. These are obligations, right, termination clauses, renewal terms, and financial term terms. And we can add as many different clauses here as we wish. So once I start this complex task, Restructure will generate a plan, and we start extracting properties uh, that are important in performing this uh, analysis. And then after that, it will summarize each property and give me a summarized response. The system will automatically populate the data that is being extracted as extractions are being performed. Uh, so you can in real time uh, monitor the progress of uh, the, of the platform. Uh, you, you can look at obligations. You will see that we're extracting uh, the rights. Uh, next, we have renewal terms, so on and so forth. Once the extractions are completed, then the system generates a summary of all the extracted information. And now we are in a good spot to start uh, communicating or chatting with, uh, with the data that we have. Um, and, and I'm going to start by asking um, you know, some general questions. So are there any unusual termination clauses that I should pay attention to? And the system will look at all the available uh, extractions from these files and give me uh, some of the unusual termination clauses and, uh, and why. So here we can see we have five contracts that uh, is kind of unusual. There's a change of control within six months, entitling them to a termination payment of 750. Um, so here you can highlight and quickly analyze or narrow down your focus on uh, some of these contracts. Additionally, to these automatically generated properties, you can extract um, properties manually from these documents. Um, and as an example, um, I would like to have a contract type defined. So I will extract that and I would like to have a list of parties involved and I will extract that as well. And the extractions will happen and the data will be populated. Uh, with the contract type and parties involved, uh, now we can do further analysis on the data. For example, I want to see agreements that can be automatically renewed with or without conditions. So I can run this prompt um, and the system will understand that I'm looking for a filter and we'll add a filter narrowing down the, uh, the list into the six contracts that have uh, renewal clauses. Now, uh, you know, you can further dive into each individual data point to better understand the full details of the obligation rights and termination. And we, given this is an important legal case, we have reasoning with direct link to sources that you can uh, verify for each of these extractions. Now, with this framework set, I'm going to remove this filter, and um, I am going to uh, add uh, additional legal contracts. So I'm going to bring in, uh, you know, additional 20 or so or 32 legal contracts here by just dragging and dropping this uh, these files into the platform, and the platform uh, is going to. Uh, automatically run all the steps that I have done so far uh, on all of these documents. Uh, we are going to import them. We are going to parse those contracts as well as extract all these properties that you have defined both automatically and manually uh, from those files in one go. You can see these documents are getting parsed and analyzed 
without me having to do any additional work. Great. So with the all the extractions completed um, automatically by dragging and dropping the files, I'm going to run uh, the same sort of uh, prompt again so that I can see uh, that, hey, we have now 33 agreements that can be automatically renewed without condition. And let's say what I want to do is that um, I want to create a table, a summary of renewal conditions for a con contract with the contract name so I can transfer that table into my um, analysis report of all the uh, 50 or so contracts that are available. So when I have filtered my knowledge base into the area that I care about, my prompts then are going to focus their attention into the filtered subset. So you can ask questions that are specific to that subset. Yes. And uh, the response here is that I am getting uh, contract name, renewal conditions, um, as a table. And once that is completed, then I can copy this, this table or download it and uh, add it to external files. There's a lot of analysis that can be done from here point uh, forward, but this is just a subset of what Restructured is capable of. Thank you.